गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स एज यू नो वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड द चैप्टर वन ऑफ इंग्लिश द बेस्ट प्रेजेंट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू रिवाइज द डिफिकल्ट वर्ड्स एंड वर्ड मीनिंग्स ऑफ दिस चैप्टर आई होप यू ऑल हैव रिटर्न इन योर इंग्लिश नोटबुक सो लेट्स टेक इट आउट डिफिकल्ट वर्ड्स यू हैव टू लर्न द स्पेलिंग एंड रीड आफ्टर मी फर्स्ट बर्थ डे बी आई आर टी H D A Y birthday second parents P A R E N T S parents third present P R E S E N T present fourth both B O T H both fifth woofy W डबल ओ एफ वाई वूफी सिक्स मंथ्स एम ओ एन टी एच एस मंथ्स सेवन स्मार्ट एस एम ए आर टी स्मार्ट एट एम यूज ए एम यू एस ई एम यूज नाइन्थ चिल्ड्रन सी एच आई एल D R E N children 10th toys T O Y S toys 11th yellow Y E D L L O W yellow 12th mouse M O U S E mouse 13th park P A R K park Fourteen, evening, e v e n i n g, evening. Fifteen, grass, g r a w s, grass. Sixteen, frightened, f r i g h t e n e d, frightened. Seventeen, birds, b i r d. S birds. Eighteen Sunday. S U N D A Y Sunday. Nineteen together. T O G E T H E R together. Twenty friend. F R I E N D friend. You have to learn all these now. Take out the word meanings in your notebook. Let us revise it. The first word is both. Its meaning is two things or people. Both means two things or people. For example, two persons, two chocolates, two books. Whenever we have to talk about two things, we use the word both. Second word is decided. It means thought. and made a choice decided means thought and made a choice whenever you have to take a decision firstly you think then you make a choice that is known as decided third word is fluffy it means soft and woolly fluffy means soft and woolly as you have read in the chapter woofy was having fluffy fur it means woofy was having soft and woolly fur that is very delicate fur fourth word is amuse its meaning is to make someone smile amuse means to make someone smile fifth word is chased its meaning is ran after something chase means ran after something when you run after somebody or something that is known as chasing sixth word is hard its meaning is done with a lot of force hard means done with a lot of force when you put all your strength to do some work that is known as hard so so dear students now you have to learn all the spellings of difficult words and you have to learn all these word meanings and write it down in your rough notebook thank you